Okay, welcome back everybody to another Modo League. Going to be running Elementals through today. Um, a list that I've really quite enjoyed in the past. So this is a more sort of ele pure Elementals list focused on, yeah, just the Elemental type. Um, rather than the more Planeswalker version that uh, played quite a, quite a lot. So yeah, pretty similar to the last time we played this. Big change being since then, LS Norn has come out. So um, just trying out a couple of those. Um, and then yeah, a lot of a lot of powerful elementals. So you've got all the Furies, the Solitudes, the Omnas, the Risen Reefs, as you'd expect. Then we get Flamekin Harbinger as our, our sort of search card. Works really well with Risen Reef. And then we've got a few one-offs as well, just to tutor up with it. So, yeah, I'm excited to give it a go. So let's jump into a league. Thanks to everyone that's watching, and big thanks to everyone that's subscribed recently. It really does mean a lot. Please do consider subscribing if you haven't. Play quite a lot of uh, Modern and Pioneer on on the channel. Um, Going to be focusing on Pioneer a, a bit more, but um, yeah, still keeping keeping up with with modern so let's see how we get on with elementals um yeah let's get into round number one all right we're on the draw here and yeah this hand is great um well yeah it's, it's okay we've got um you know turn one we can solitude ephemerate if we need to we've got removal dark slick shores so not sure what this is not many decks play dark slick shores these days um, okay, so let's we'll play a land and pass. Toxic Shores used to be like ad nauseam. Yep, still not sure what this is. Sure, all will come clear. Uh, let's get in Daff. Uh, I think just as our off-color triome for binding. Okay, Kevin of Souls, not a bad draw against a blue deck. Play a flooded strand here with the intention of getting the other triome. Okay, so it's mill. Okay, so we'll fetch out our other triome in case it gets milled. They get six cards. <laughs> they hit double Omnath and Solitude. So Tasha's Hideous Laughter, not the best uh, mill spell against us. Hmm, really would like to see like a Risen Reef or something there. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just go tap land go. So we do have um, endurance in the list. Okay, there's the crab. Okay, as soon as they fetch, we're gonna um, solitude it. I wonder if we're meant to just do that now so that we can start attacking. I think we probably are. Need to put, need to put pressure on them. I mean, Solitude getting drowned in the locked is not great. Get rid of that, and then yeah, we'll we'll uh, ephemerate. Just need to start attacking, I think. Shame that we don't get an ephemerate, uh, something to ephemerate here, but. Nope. Okay. Uh, Elish Norn's a bit of a weird one. Uh, 
Um, I wonder if we're meant to Cavern of Souls on Praetor. <laughs> Okay, cycle fractured sanity. So we're really looking for the endurance. I think we are going to play Elish Norn here. We Ooh, Flamekin. Okay. Trouble with Flamekin is they can just mill it. So I think we're just gonna go we could just go Fury. Um Well we'll attack first. I think actually we're gonna go Fury here. Cavern of Souls for Elemental. Just cast the Fury. Yep, so now we're attacking for nine next turn. Okay, they get to drown in the lock. So I guess, yeah, Elish Noor not the best here. I mean, it can shut off um oh jace yeah it can shut off like crab stuff but okay we mill 15 Need to find Risen Reef, really. Um, so I think we go land, Praetor, Elish Norn. Then. So yeah, Flamekin's a weird one. We're gonna cast it. The thing is, whatever we search onto the top is just gonna get milled. So we don't wanna put endurance on the top. I mean, it's not gonna matter here. Should we just put keep Risen Reef? Uh, actually, do we want to find Risen Reef? We've got 14 cards left. Oh, Archive Trap. Okay, so the opponent did have Archive Trap. We've got one card in our library. Yeah, okay, so, oh, double Archive Trap. Bit surprised that they sat on those for so long. But um, there we go. Okay, so we've got good, good things against Mill. We can go, well, we can just bring in three copies of Endurance. Um, is there anything else? I don't think so. So Flamekin Harbinger is just bad, so we can cut three of those. I think we'll cut, we might even cut the next one, go just a Fulminator Mage. Um, Elish Norn's not great either. Maybe we trim an Elish Norn for another mage. That mage isn't great, but at least it attacks and can blow up one of their, their lands. Let's try that. Maybe Flamekin on one is worth it. Okay, I have to mulligan here. Uh, this is okay. We'll keep at any rate and bottom the solitude, I think. Good thing is we don't have to search our library here. But is a 
bit awkward not being able to do anything until turn three. Okay. Well, endurance is a good draw. So let's just go cavern on elemental pass. Another crab. So I'm finding a red card here. Hopefully they don't. If they go for surgical on endurance, we have to use our own endurance. Okay, so what we'll do here is just go elemental. Oh, we can't actually ephemerate here, so, oh, but if we travel with Risen Reef is then we can't endurance. I think we're going to go for it. The opponent doesn't have... have a few draws at it. Oh, hopefully they don't have fatal push here. Looks like they do. Oh, maybe this, yeah, this was probably a mistake. Okay, they do have push, so now we really need to find a green card off this. We'll put that onto the battlefield. Um... I kind of think we wait now until we can ephemerate. So next turn, hopefully we go Fury. I mean, yeah, we are playing a lot for next turn. If you don't have Surgical Extraction, we're probably done. Okay, so... Okay, Risen Reef is actually a really, really good draw because we can go Risen Reef, Fury, although do we want to hold up Endurance? Ah, uh, let's go for it. <laughs> we didn't come here to not, uh, not play Risen Reefs. We've got the Ephemerate as well for the Risen Reef if we need to. Oh, another, that's perfect. Okay, they do have the drown. Okay, that's okay though. Um, I think we're just gonna sit on the endurances for now because the, well, we lose to extirpate. Hopefully that's not what this is. Another crab. Do we go for it now to play around the extirpate? I think so. So we go endurance the extra pay. I think so. I'm just I'm pretty afraid that they have it. So we'll put the evoke trigger on first. Shuffle our library in. Because there is an endurance in there. So they do have the extra pay.
Um, I'm assuming we're, yeah, we're gonna ephemerate here. Um, yeah, we can put theirs back as well. Put the land out. And then we can uh so we'll fetch maybe we shouldn't fetch here but i think we're going now well, what are we getting uh let's just grab a hello fountain so i was thinking fetch and then put our own thing back Um, but actually, I think yeah, one card. Oh no, we should have in, we should have done endurance there because then we shuffle ephemerate back in as well. Ooh, fury's good. Omnath also good. Tack. So yeah, we'll just get Fury. So we'll go two damage here, two damage here. Um, we didn't actually play a land this turn. So what we'll do... Oh, actually, I don't think this can go and get... Oh, uh, have we got any white sources this can go and get? Yes, we do. Ah, but none of them are untapped. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a pain. Okay, need to learn what uh, lands we've got. I think adding a temple garden would probably be pretty good here. Okay, drown in the lock. another fury so we just cast that i think although omnath no we're gonna go omnath now omnath gives us so many more white blue red oh let's go uh, red yeah we'll, we'll do these green So Omnath, we've got loads of looks at a land here. And we can also just binding the thing if we need to. Okay, another Fury. Or ending. Um, so let's just go ending here. Attack with everything. Oh, they push the endurance. Okay, definitely a few missed sequences here. Um, Jace is a bit scary. Okay, they drown that, that's fine. Probably just cast the fury now. See what we find. Uh, yeah, put that one to the battlefield. Attack for one. So we've got binding up in case they find anything special. I think they're going to struggle now. Yeah. Okay. So we take down game two. So we saw the crabs. I wonder if Elish Norn is worse than Subtlety. Probably, actually. 
We didn't see anything. Maybe we're meant to bring in EE for the crabs. No, I think this will this will be fine. Let's go with this. Right, not a fan of this hand. Um, I mean, we can put an a solitude down on turn one, but that's about it. Um, this hand is also a bit weird, but I think we'll keep put a fury back. Yeah, I don't really know what we're looking for in this. I guess we're looking for endurances, really. Okay, so um, I think we'll just lead off on Cavern. Like if we can avoid fetching. Okay, another solitude. Okay, Cavern again. Formulator Mage being elemental is interesting. Okay, let's cycle. Yeah, maybe we should have just fetched. Okay. So, nothing really of note hitting the, the graveyard here. Tasha's gets eight cards, including one endurance. Okay, well, we're going to have to fetch. Um, Risen Reef. Kind of want to hit a land here. Okay, subtleties, like, okay. Hopefully they don't have... Okay, no. No, um... Archive trap's good for us here. Okay, they return. Oh, okay, so I've got fatal push. Five cards. Um, that's an interesting draw. I think we're just gonna. We'll fetch now in case they've found, you know, give some fewer chances to find uh, get a hallowed fountain here. Yeah, just fewer chances to find what's it called? Uh, archive trap. Hopefully it's a crab. Soul guide lantern. Uh, okay. Kind of want them to play a crab here. Okay, I think we're just flashing in to get the clock going. Another Fury. Don't really want to use the Ephemerate is the problem. Okay, so we'll go... Red, red, red. Formula Mage. We could just blow up their land. But I did miss a land. But I kind of like attacking for... Drown in the lock. Do we just ephemerate here? I think so. That's fine, like we don't get much value out of it, but you know, we're now attacking for five potentially. I wonder if we should be blowing up their black source, but uh, 
There's Jace. Mill of three cards. Sure. Well, there's some good ones. <laughs> So we'd really quite like an untapped land here so that we can just go um, Fury, Jace, uh, still no. Okay, so what are we doing? So we'll go play this. I wonder if we're meant to just fury the Jace down. No, I don't think so. Attack Jace, attack them. And then from next turn we can start dropping elementals. Crab. Okay. As soon as they go for anything, we'll solitude this. Or will we? Yeah, I think so. We just want to lose as little. Uh... Oh, we could have actually, yeah, we could have floated and then cast the solitude. Probably would have been better, but saving three cards might be might be key. Um, let's go get planes. We'll resume our attack for five plan another fury extirpating oh <laughs> that's so rough oh we've been a uh, pretty punished here opponent rips three cards out of our hand that's Possibly the worst I've ever been got by uh, by an extra paint. That's brutal. Okay, we've got 25 cards in library. So really punished for the line there. So we could have floated, played, I don't know, let's see if the three cards matters more. I, I guess that they'd be on four now facing down lethal, so. Okay, looks like they have. Okay, there's a crab. Ensnaring bridge. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Have we got any outs? Don't know, actually. All our furies are gone. That's not good. Hmm. Opponent's got two cards in hand. I think we need to kill the Aboro. Otherwise they just get unlimited landfall. I think we'll save this to make a land drop with Omnath if we need to. Um, yeah, this is... We've just been absolutely, yeah, brutalised by that. Maybe we should have been bringing in something. Do we have any outs to that? Oh, we, oh, of course, yeah, Leyline Binding, Prismatic Ending. I 
think we've still got some endurances left as well. Basic forest, not great. Oh, I suppose this can attack. So yeah, we're now just in this weird dance where we need to find probably endurance. Actually, how many? Okay, only one endurance is gone. If we can find endurance, we then just buy ourselves so much time. Well, there's one. Oh, they've got the extra pay as well. Leyland binding, 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 ending. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, that ensnaring bridge did for us. I guess it didn't matter the play with the solitude. Um, was there anything else we could have done? Not sure. That extra pay hitting three furies was just absolutely brutal. Um, but there we go. Um, I think if I was gonna, if we play against Mill again, probably bring in some sort of artifact removal. Um, but yeah, okay. So yeah, lose round one to Mill. Let's see you for the next round. Okay, easy mulligan here on the draw for round number two. This is okay. Uh, we can just about keep this. Uh, the floor hidden is a land. We will bottom, I think probably Fury. We've got lots of removal. We don't really want to pitch any more cards. If we have to, we can ending on one. Arid Mesa Mountain Swift Spear. Okay. Another Fury. So we could just Fury that down. We could go Fetch Shock Harbinger Block. What would Harbinger get though? We really need just lands now. This only taps for green. So I think we're gonna just I think we'll just go land pass. The next turn we can ending. And if they play mount more creatures next turn mm -hmm. we can also um we can also just try and fury two at once. Could be burn here. Could also be prowess. Some big canyon means it's more likely to be burn. Okay, Eidolon, actually that's pretty good for us. Because now we can just go fetch Rolgren, Triome, Fury, both of these things away. Play the land. Um, hmm. So Omnath's an interesting draw. We're going to need to find another land. There's no point in playing Flamekin because we need, yeah, we need to find a land. So actually, I think we can just go Fury, Exile, Flamekin, Harbinger. There's two here, two here. Pass the turn. So yeah, really need to see an untapped land here. Fetch land or basic is ideal. They bolt us down to 14 and then play an idol on. Okay, land. Hmm, ephemerate. So I think we have to just ending this. You know, the, the two damage we take is the same as if we uh, attack, so might as well use our mana. Yeah, not finding a land there is rough. Um, if at any point we find solitude, now that we've got this ephemerate, that's pretty good. But it's got three cards in hand. Haven't played their land for turn. They can also obviously draw with some bait canyon. Yeah, that fury was really good. Really what we want to see on the top is like basic island. Cavern of Souls also good. 
Right, land. If it's not a land, we probably lose. Uh, another ephemerate is not good. We can't binding. It costs three. Okay. Yeah, I feel like if we find a land there, we, we're in real good shape. Burn can be pretty hard for elementals, um, obviously leaning a lot on Omnath. If it's not a land here, we probably just lose. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, Boros Charm, sure. So, yeah, Mono Burn from the opponent and us never finding our third land. I mean, on the mull six, I think it was fine. I think we had, we, I think we were in that game, but there we go. Okay, so what don't we like? Uh, Elish Norn does nothing. Could consider endurance. Could consider like force of vigor or subtlety. I think subtlety is probably okay. Maybe bring in one EE. Endurance isn't amazing, but it does block. Maybe we cut that for a Foundation Breaker. Actually, I quite like Foundation Breaker instead of, well, no, EE is probably fine, but I think I prefer Foundation Breaker to Subtlety, um, just as a way to kill Eidolon for, for no damage. Okay, so really after Risen Reef. Uh, this is okay. So we can go, we need to survive till turn, survive turn three, Risen Reef. Turn three, Risen Reef, and then hopefully hit a land and then Omnath. Okay, so. Leyline Binding, it's actually a really good draw. Plain Swamp Forest, so we need Island and Mountain. Uh, so let's just go this, get Rawgrin Triome, but then we have to shock. Or we could just shock in now. We're going to need Island anyway, and this can't get Island, so yeah, we, we just do this. I think we're going to binding the goblin guide because we've got the answer to. Okay, land's good. So we'll just go get Rogan Triome and binding here. I've got Eidolon covered. Okay, Spike. Is the opponent going to miss a land drop? They are. Okay, so now we just go... Hmm. I think it's just Shock. Yeah, let's just go Shock. Yeah. Reef. Okay, another reef. Pass the turn. So we've got solitude up here. Next turn we can go fetch Omnath. Searing Blaze. Sure. So I think here it's gonna go Risen Reef. Another solitude. Yeah, because we mm, I think it was with Omnath. Actually, yeah, I think we're just I think we're just going Omnath because then we can, if we need to, we can solitude the Omnath. Um, we've got double planes. Let's get an island. So, island mountain uh, forest plains Omnath. 
Okay, another Omnath is fine. If we have to, we can solitude our own Omnath. Which we may do here. Searing Blaze. Okay, Bolt Omnath. Okay, so we'll let that resolve. Really would like to draw a land. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so go uh, Blaine's Mountain. Where is this? And yeah, we're just passing the turn here. Could upkeep fetch, but spike us. Um, so if we fetch and they go bolt, bolt, we have to solitude. I think holding it's fine. Play the Cavern of Souls. Okay, so now we go fetch basic planes, gain four, and then we get to make the mana as well. Uh, yeah, we'll put that onto the battlefield. Okay, so we can't gain life here. We've got many solitudes. Spike, we get a three. Skewer, okay, so we'll go solitude, evoke, pitch a ley line binding. So evoke, I think. Oh, we can, can you exile the solitude? No, one other. So this, oh, should have done that after that. Oh yeah, that was stupid. Okay, so we'll, yeah, we'll pitch Omnath here. Oh, we could have just cast Solitude. Maybe that was better. Go to seven. Oh yeah, we, we just stacked the triggers wrong there. Okay, we get a four. Just cast the Solitude. Yeah, because we could have we could have gained a whole load more life, but luckily it didn't matter. Yeah, just stack the triggers wrong. Um, okay, I think we're probably just happy to run it back. Um, yeah, opponent stumbled a bit there. Always obviously a lot harder to win on the draw. Probably couldn't keep the hand that we kept there on the draw. Uh, what do we think of? this we've got an answer we've got a turn one play but we have to shock we've got an answer to some stuff they've kept seven we've got the omnath i think actually think we can just about keep this so we go turn one let's say play goblin guide Should we be solituding here? No, I don't think so. It's only one. We'll see what we draw. Ooh, now that's an interesting draw. That's really good, actually. So now we're just we're going to go for basic planes. We 
we kind of want them to play um, like idle on here oh that's so good right okay so now yeah this, this, we probably just win the game here because we can go fetch basic planes solitude pitch solitude so here we want to get rid of the idle on first and then ephemerate then we're not going to do that just start bashing in Uh, so we could consider doing this for flame. Actually, that's quite good. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Probably worth shocking here. So that we can go and get... What are we going to get? Probably just Risen Reef. There's the guide. We know that there's the reef on top. We're just going to block with Flamekin here. Take less damage. Flamekin's done its job. Stop skewer the critics as well. They probably have to. Hopefully, they don't have searing blaze. Um. Well, let's attack first. They don't have searing blaze. Can't imagine they're not going to kill this. Okay, skull crack. That's reasonable. Uh, so then we we'll just fetch a basic forest. Risen reef. Ooh, could fury down the guide, but I think omnath is probably just better. <laughs> Are we taking two from the guide? What's it we draw? Okay, island. Um, I think we can take two here. Finding's good. So let's go Island Omnath. We could wait, but I think just slamming it here is fine. Uh, right, yeah. So we want to see a land here, really. No land. But now they've drawn that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to Fury. Because we get a trigger from Risen Reef, which may hit a land and gain us four life. Land. Boros Charm. Okay, another Fury. Okay, so we're at eight. Um, opponent needs, well, Roiling Vortex doesn't actually work that well. Okay, land, they draw. Yeah, so yeah, a combination of Omnath and, and Solitude. Um, really showing a, an argument for ephemerate there. So um, yeah, good to get the win against Burn. See you for the next round. Right, what do we think of this? This is a mulligan. Um, Thunderkin's not going to get anything for a while. We haven't got anything going on really. Uh, this is okay. I'm not massively happy about it. I think we'll get rid of the solitude. Like the we can turn to binding is the big thing here. A 
obviously depends what the opponent's doing. Misty Rainforest. Okay, Misty Rainforest may, makes me think either this kind of deck could be Rhinos, could, uh, could be Murktide. Okay, another Solitude. Uh, let's go Misty Pass. Let's see. Okay, Steam Bents. Okay, so it's Living End. I can't kind of imagine this matchup's great, but we do have the Pitch Elementals. But we can't kill Riverwinders. If they grief here, okay, so they do grief. So, oh, that's actually pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we'll go exile binding. Get rid of grief so that it doesn't come back. And now they have to take an Omnath, put it in our graveyard. Done a lot of cycling there. Okay, so yeah, we'll just go and get the other triome. So Risen Reef probably best draw. I doubt the opponent plays any way to deal with graveyard's main. Architects of Will. So we don't actually mind a Cascade here. Um, are we going to play Voice or are we going to... I think we just play Omnath. The trouble is if we play Omnath it just kind of dies. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just play, play this one. kind of forces the action. Well, I suppose it doesn't, they can just wait. And then, are we gonna play the land? I think so. But I want to be gaining some life here. Okay. So yeah, we'll make a couple of tokens, but they'll uh, <laughs> swiftly go away. Uh, so go this. What are we exiling? Uh, we do control the swamp, so yeah, get rid of one of these street wraiths. See, so we get to draw. Ephemerate would be really nice. I suppose the opponent can attack us for like 10, 19. <laughs> we can actually just take the, oh, we do draw Ephemerate. That's pretty bonkers. Oh, we get the trigger from that one as well. So we are making quite a few tokens here. So don't want to do it now, I don't think, but I think we will just gain some life. Uh, Yeah. 
We can block with Omnath as well, knowing we've got another one. Or we can go... Okay, opponent is attacking with everything. So I think we'll just go... Okay, so we'll go block here. Block here. How bad is it for us if the opponent has another living end? Maybe we just let... Difficult because if the opponent has living end, we can go block here, block here, here. Okay. And then, yeah, we'll just ephemerate the solitude. Get rid of what are we gonna get rid of? Ooh, what if we ephemerate solitude and then it Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Probably should just let this one go. Oh no, that's fine, because then they they won't get through any damage if we go ephemerate. Opponent's shocked in. So I guess they can go cycle another river winder. Ottawa. Okay. So that's actually okay here. Uh, okay, so then we'll go, we could ephemerate the Omnath, but no, it's going to ephemerate here. Uh, do we get, I think we just get rid of this, just keep our elemental around. Go to 15, and then ephemerate comes back, ephemerate is a busted card. Get rid of another Street Wraith. But yeah, we don't mind having an Omnath in the graveyard. Endurance not too bad either. I wonder if we meant to attack here. Block. No, I think we're going to block and then start attacking with the solitude. We want to keep the solitude. Want to keep our life total high. Um, yeah. Like if the opponent attacks with everything here, yeah, I wonder if we meant to. I think we're just going to go like this. I wonder if we're meant to kill one of these. No, we're probably meant to kill one. So we could go block, block. Like some sort of double block is probably correct here. Do we want them to kill Omnath is the problem? Because then we can't really... I suppose... It, yeah, it's got to be a double block. I think it's probably just block here, block here. If they Ottawa again, we're kind of fine with that. I 
Well, I suppose this would shrink, but you know, if they bounce the Omnath or something. Okay, so they are Cascade again. Annoyingly, we don't have. Um... Okay, they don't cast. Uh... Okay, they do. <laughs> They don't cast Living End. Okay, so we get to untap with Endurance up as well. Uh, yeah, I'll just start gaining a load of life. I mean, there's no way we're blocking with Omnath. Um, I think I'm just going to endurance now. It uses our mana. We're attacking for seven. Yeah, we'll go endurance. Might as well put their graveyard on the bottom. Block here. So we take eight, which isn't quite. Um, isn't quite a two turn clock, so we can we can attack back for seven. Hopefully if we find a land, we can gain some life with Omnath as well. Yep. <laughs> Fetch land, pretty ideal. Weird situation there where we're happy to draw lands, happy to draw spells. Attack for seven. The opponents, yeah, so in this one as well, I suppose you want to avoid. Um, Avoid getting the triome. So here we can keep the fetch uncracked because if we find another fetch land, we can hit the opponent for four. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll just attack here, I think. Oh, if they have exactly. I think we'll attack. Uh, maybe that's wrong. Because if they have, yeah, that was probably stupid actually. Because they're just going to force this. Oh, that was wrong. Threw away the Omnath. Yeah, I mean, if it resolves, we're in such good shape. But I think they're probably just going to have force of negation. Yeah. Windcaller, even. Okay, well, that's not a force. What's in that one for a while? They don't have the force. Uh. What about just prismatic ending on here? So we go. No, I think waiting for a blocker is probably fine. And also, it's got we've got the out of um, just drawing another fetch land. But yeah, that that was prob. I mean, it worked out very well for us, but that was probably a mistake there. Okay, just an attack with the Riverwinder, which is fine. I wonder if we're even meant to ending now. Are we meant to do this? I think so. Because, yeah, just, I think that's fine. Because if we draw a fetch land, you just win the game. Okay, no such luck on the fetch land. 
but I think we just go sacred foundry no gain some life and then this this uh, black green red ending here Yeah, ephemerate is much better into force. Okay, so um, we get there. I think yeah, some decent play early on. Yeah, just getting cards into our own graveyard. But um, yeah, I, th I think that ephemerate was probably wrong. I mean, it worked out very well for us. But um, but yeah, there we go. So what do we think here? So we definitely want all of the endurances. The opponent will be bringing in um what's it called yeah the opponent will be bringing in ley line of sanctity so we're going to want something to deal with that ephemerate is very good like spot removal that prismatic ending isn't usually where we want to be Alice norn's okay um what else so i think we want the foundation breakers what do I think Ellis Nord's probably a bit slow. Uh, Ephemerate's good. Endurance is good. What about these? Voice of Resurgence was good there. Um, I think. What about Thunderkin? Thunderkin's probably fine. I'd quite like to make room for some. Um, for some Force of Vigors as well. I suppose we've got Binding. Binding's probably fine here because it deals with the ley line and with a big creature. Um, maybe it's. No, Flamekin's great to search up our endurance. Risen Reef's just great in general. <laughs> maybe we just trim some of these things and bring in one force. Yeah, I quite like that. Let's, let's, let's try that. Okay, bit of a weird hand, but we're going to keep it. Um, Okay, no means of stopping our endurance, which is nice, but they might have grief. Okay, so a little bit wary of playing the Indatha Triome after last time, but I think, that's, I think it's probably okay. Maybe Force of Vigor was overkill. If the opponent griefs, we probably just go... Oh yeah, if the opponent griefs, we go Endurance Pitch Force. And then they take the Foundation Breaker and we at least get that back. They could have Subtlety. I don't think they often run Subtlety though. Well, okay, Ephemerate's good. <laughs> Oh, Archfiend of Ithnir. Not seen that one in a while. Okay, yep, we're just waiting. Another Ephemerate. Okay, so we'll just go... Oh, we'll go Cavern. Then if the opponent goes for violent outburst, well, uh, yeah, if the opponent goes violent outburst, we'll endurance pitch force of vigor and then ephemerate it because then we can hold, we can then ephemerate it again. I think is actually we could just go endurance pitch. And then it comes back, but if they have endurance, no, I think we'd go Endurance Ephemerate. Yeah, so just going to pass the turn here. Okay, just a Cycler. C 
could just go for the endurance here, but uh, maybe we should have gone for the endurance there, set them back so much. I think holding it's fine. Uh, that's not a bad draw. Uh, no. I was going to say we could shock that in and hold up hard cast endurance and ephemerate. I guess the opponent's probably looking for a... There we go. Okay, so grief. Ooh, now. That's actually a bit awkward, because if... Okay, so we can go... Uh, get rid of force of vigor. Yeah, because if they now go violent outburst in response to this... Okay, this is okay, though. Oh, okay, so the opponent should have Violent Outbursted in response to the Endurance. I guess they wanted to get the Endurance as well. Uh, do we get rid of a Solitude? Solitude, Pitch, Ephemerate. No, I don't think so, because... You know, we've now got some powerful stuff in hand. Opponent probably takes Ephemerate. So yeah, probably a little bit of missequencing again. But um managed to get everything there. Okay, nothing to rebound on. Okay, another solitude. Isn't too bad. What we kinda want the opponent to do here is just go I don't know, hard cast curator of mysteries, we solitude it. <laughs> I might just hard cast here. Go grab an island. Let's see why not. You know, seeing as we've drawn the other one. Yeah. Okay, and then we can just start beating down for three. Gaining some life in the process. Okay, yep, let's type for three. Then we're just gonna wait. You know, we can cast another solitude if we need to. I wonder if we're meant to go for it now. <laughs> Attack for six, if they, d no, I don't think so. That's a good draw though. Uh, I guess we should just use the cavern. We could just evoke the foundation breaker, I guess. Yeah, question jury's out as to whether this list is uh, I'm liking it. Okay, opponent's subtleties. Pitching shard as agent. Um, we'll put that at the bottom, I think. Um, are we just going to evoke here? Or we could just play it, I suppose. No, I think this is fine. 
think we can just wait. We've got some powerful things in hand. It's quite an aggressive subtlety. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Are they going to put the Shardus agent? Uh, do we want? I don't think we want to shuffle anything in at the moment. Okay, another endurance is nice. So I think we just hard cast a fury. Hopefully they haven't got another. Let's get rid of the, the biggest one. We can actually then attack. I think we're fine attacking. Okay, yeah, um, I think we're happy with this trade. Gives us some stuff in the graveyard. Grief, eh? I mean, they're all creatures. I mean, they're gonna take the solitude. Do we evoke here? Probably not. I guess we could take Foundation Breaker and then we can't evoke. But. Attacking for three. Okay, we'll just slam in. Expecting a block. Yeah, if they put out Vine Outburst there, they would have attacked with the Street Wraith. Let's pass the turn. Oh, of course that trades, doesn't it? Yeah, that's uh Yeah, I did forget about that one. <laughs> hmm. Are they gonna cast Living End? If they do, it means they have subtlety. Not gonna see an attack here when I thought. I mean they know we've got endurance. Question is do we flash it in any way? I think the answer is yes. Endurance. And yeah, we'll just target them. Like managing their graveyards probably a good idea. Well, that's a very good draw. <laughs> so, uh, forest, island, plains, mountain, omnath. Well, they could have subtlety. We put it straight back on top. Okay, Omnath just uh, draws the concession as he so often does. Okay, so good to get uh, the 2-0 over Living End. Um, yeah, see you for round number four. Right, round number four. We would like to be on the play. Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. So I think we're going to go turn one, Flamekin off of, we need to get a Sacred Foundry here. Sacred Foundry, yep. Flamekin, what do we want to get? Oh, we're doing voice things. 
Uh, yeah. Do we want to go and get a land? I don't really know what we're against. Uh, I think we could just get. Yeah, we're we'll going to grab the land. Maybe that was wrong. But we are quite mana hungry. Steam vents. Okay, so now we're just going to cast Voice of Resurgence. Voice of Resurgence is probably good against untapped Steam vents. Another benefit of Flamekin Harbinger blocks Ragavan nicely. <laughs> um, to that end, do we attack here? I don't actually think we do, weirdly. Because if the opponent dashes a Ragavan, we don't want to block with voice. Okay, Shredder. So here it's a mm, bit of a weird one here. So we definitely want to go Risen Reef. Okay. If we find a white card, um, obviously we're going to go Solitude. We find Windswept Heath. Okay, so let's go land. Risen Reef. Hmm. Now, probably more happy to just keep that one in hand. Yeah, because then the opponent doesn't get a connive either. No attacks. Yeah, I'm very happy to have voice for sense. Unholy Heat is fine. It's a, an unholy heat that's not destined for our Omnath, I guess. There's a Ragavan. But yeah, Flamekin does a reasonable job at holding that back. <laughs> Okay, no blocks from us. Are we gonna go and fetch a basic here? Basic planes, probably. Or oh, Cavern of Souls. Yeah, we'll play that one. Uh, elemental. Omnath. Draw Leyline Binding. That's a good one to have as well. No attacks. Yeah, Voice of Resurgence <laughs> putting in a shift here. Opponent less willing to um, yeah, less willing to hold up count spells. And then next turn, uh, it'll be if the opponent taps out, we just go absolutely nuts next turn. We go windswept teeth, gain some life, make a load of mana, binding solitude, all that good stuff. Okay. They do have four card types, so uh, yeah, they can unholy heat. I would imagine they unholy heat Omnath here. Yeah, there goes Omnath. So I wonder if we're meant to Right, Fury is good. It kills this, but so does Solitude at instant speed. Um let's go land. Definitely going land. I think we'll just go and get another basic. 
I think Fury's time is running out. Um, you know, the, the amount of time that this is going to be good. Shredder's nearly out of Fury range, whereas Solitude um, has the opportunity to kill, well, anything. Just passing the turn again. I think getting in for one point of damage isn't worth... <laughs> You know, if, if we get if we attack for one and then they, they attack back having bolted our fury, then that's a pretty bad exchange for us. Yeah, we've got some high power in our hand. High powered cards. Um so yeah, like like Solitude able to take down Murktai region. Whereas Fury, probably not. Obviously got binding as well, which is very nice. Still got this Tangled Florahedron. Kind of wish we'd uh, searched up something else, maybe. Okay, the Unholy Heat, the Fury. <laughs> this Voice of Resurgence has done a real, uh, real, real good job. So we're going to need to get rid of the Dragon's Race Channeler. Ooh, that's good. Um, yeah, we'll go with that one. So go red. Uh, what did we want? Blue, probably. Attack. We would like to put Risen Reef back onto the battlefield. Okay, Fury. <laughs> um, I think we'll go Binding here. So Binding costs two. Actually, how much do we care? This is going to be sacrifice. I think we, yeah, I think we can binding here. Like if the opponent wants to, yeah, they counter spell, which uh, <laughs> also makes us an elemental, which triggers Risen Reef. If we find a white card. Um, have we played a land this turn? Turn six. I don't think so. Uh, binding. This is turn six. Uh, turn six. No. Okay. So we're actually not going to do that. Now we can go land. We do have to fetch shock, which is a bit worrying. Uh, I'm assuming we can get. Oh, we still can't get green mana here. It's very annoying. <laughs> so I guess we'll just go and get the triome. Really need a. Wait, yeah, this. I think I remember this from last time. Where we really, really wanted a um, uh, an untapped red, uh, what's it called? Uh, Blood Moon. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, really, really wanted an untapped green source there. Okay, Blood Moon's like okay here. We fetched out all our basics. We're just gonna fury here. Okay, binding's really good as well. So we've got one, two, th binding costs quite a lot. I think we just go fury, kill here, here. Or we could 
Actually, I think we're just going solitude. Go fury, kill this, kill this, solitude this, yeah. I think that's fine. So yeah, we'll um, solitude the ledger shredder. Cast the fury. Three, one. Okay, wrath the board. We'll hold the, the Florahedron. Now we can start attacking. A Merktide Regent is a problem. Like if they rip exactly Merktide Regent, make an 8 8. Yeah, that is a way for them to win. Okay, fortunately, they don't find it. Okay. So, what do we do now? So, subtlety is probably fine all the endurance is definitely what do we cut Elish Norn isn't great here so we definitely want these things voice of return which was amazing there <laughs> uh, endings good fury I think we can probably trim on fury that's probably fine yeah let's just go with that Okay, so unfortunately we're missing lands here. If we find a land, we're good. If one of these was a white land, this would be a snap keep, but unfortunately not. Yeah, this is fine. Um, oh, what do we put on the bottom? Oh, this is close, actually. It could be a solitude, but solitude on turn one is pretty good. Solitude ephemerate is good. I suppose we can always search one up with flamekin. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. Thunderkin's not bad. Okay, Flamekin Harbinger. What are we gonna fetch? Uh, I think it's probably just Risen Reef. Yeah, we'll go and grab Risen Reef. We like a like a Risen Reef. Again, this can't fetch untapped uh, green source though. It's really annoying. I guess the opponent might try and Blood Moon us, which is another concern. Okay, there's the Reef. So if we play this and then they Blood Moon are in trouble, so I think we'll just go Flooded Strand and pass. Yeah. Really don't want to get Blood Mooned. Okay, we'll see what we draw, we'll keep this up. Okay, Voice of Resurgence is interesting. I think we'll just go land, pass. Would really like to draw Cavern of Souls. But I think the draw go game is probably fine with us. Seasoned Pyromancer. Okay, so now we're probably just, hmm, what are we doing here? Okay, they ditch a load of lands. So, yeah, really want to go and get green white here, but I don't think we can. So, we'll just go and get the triome. I mean, that is green white, but I can untap. Okay, endurance is pretty good. Um, I think, though, we just go. We just go. Hmm. We could Voice of Resurgence hold up Ephemerate, which is pretty good. Yeah, I think that's probably fine. 
Oh no, we can't. Risen Reef is bad. I think we'll go Risen Reef. Do we want to Endurance here? I think so. Endurance Pitch Voice. Like we get another look at a land this way. Like Endurance is good against them anyway. Okay, we'll have another one. can't cast it in just the moment. Really want to land. Uh, no, so we'll draw that one. Okay, no attacks. Opponent's got four cards in hand. The endurance has turned off some stuff. If they tap out here, we could actually ephemerate the flame kit harbinger, but I don't think we want to do that. We'll probably block and then go Thunderkin Awakener. Oh, maybe we shouldn't, no, we shouldn't have blocked there because we've got something in the graveyard that we want to get out anyway. Okay, so we want more green mana. Do we just want basic forest even? Probably. Yeah. Although I'm not sure how much we can accomplish with basic forest. Uh, Risen Reef. I think Risen Reef's probably the play because now we can hold up Ephemerate. But they might count uh, uh we'll go for the ephemerate here. Okay, so we get <laughs> rid of two spells from the opponent's hand. Okay, another ephemerate. So to pass the turn. Always happy to draw ephemerates in this matchup though, I think. Pen draws a card. I wonder if they've kept in Blood Moon. Iterations, good draw. At some point we're gonna slam this flamekin and hope for the best. I think the time is probably okay. So, right. So, Flamekin is bad. I think we'll just go land, go and get a basic white source. I think I'm happy to just go, well. We could go Thunderkin, Risen Reef. If we go Thunderkin, Risen Reef, Thunderkin, get Risen Reef, play Endurance. But then Thunderkin's kind of just gone, but is this the best opportunity we're going to get? What if we go Thunderkin, they block, uh, they bolt it, yeah that's bad. I think I'm just going to go Solitude. Yeah, I think Solitude while the opponent's tapped out is probably fine. I just This Shredder gets really annoying when we're trying to double spell later. 
Three cards in hand. We've got some good ones in hand. Okay, so they did have the unholy heat. So yeah, that would have been a bit awkward into the awakener. Okay, so I think, yeah, the time is probably here that we need to endurance them. Wouldn't mind Cavern of Souls. Binding's good. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna endurance in there, upkeep. Just, uh, I, th I think the thing we're afraid of most is probably uh, like Merc Tide. Ooh. Uh, yeah, might need double white. I guess the question is if the subtlety. Okay, that's an interesting one. Um, yeah, we'll go top. I think we're meant to, are we meant to binding here? I think so. Oh no, okay, oh, yeah, that's it. We're just binding the subtlety. So reason being is that we want to um, have a free attack with this Thunderkin Awakener. Hmm. Land is pretty good. So find endurance, let's go Thunderkin now. Uh, what do we want to hold up? Yeah, that's fine. So we'll put Risen Reef into the battlefield. Trigger. Well, yeah, we quite like that one. <laughs> but, um,. I haven't played land yet, so. So we could ephemerate the Risen Reef, but I think actually just going Cavern of Souls for Elemental. And then we can just go Endurance, green, green. Get a trigger from Risen Reef, exile their graveyard. Uh, yeah, we can put that onto the battlefield now. Okay. Yeah, you just get crazy value sometimes from Thunderkin Awakener. Uh, the fact that they've got haste as well is pretty, pretty nuts. I think we're gonna block. Like we're at nine against the lightning bolt deck. Fury. Ooh, okay, so Fury is pretty good. Do we use our ephemerate? Oh, maybe we shouldn't have blocked thinking about Fury. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to ephemerate here. If the opponent's got another bolt, we probably lose. Okay, so really looking for solitude. A fury of our own would be pretty good. Don't want to cast that. Or Omnath. <laughs> um, are we attacking first? No, I don't think so. Well. So we attack Omnath. I suppose Omnath could find. I think we want to maximize our draws. We could put Flamekin on top. So we go Flamekin on top, search for what? Flamekin, search for Endurance. Or would we just rather draw a load of cards? So 
search and then draw it with Omnath. But what would we search for? Search for Fury, we could search for Solitude. I think we'll just get Risen Reef. I think just drawing a couple of cards here is probably fine. Wow, okay. <laughs> or we could just draw amongst the best possible. Okay, so if the opponent has like Mystical Dispute, that's a. Oh no, it's not because we have a Cavern of Souls. A couple of triggers from this. Uh, yeah, we'll put that onto the battlefield. Gain some life. And find another Omnath. Yep, those were some pretty good draws. There's a Shredder. Iteration as well. Oh, they're, they're, that's pretty good. Blood Moon goes away. So they have got Blood Moon in. question is, yeah, I mean, we're just attacking with everything, I think. <laughs> Opponent will probably finally kill the Thunderkin Awakener. Uh, yeah, well, we'll play that. I uh, probably shouldn't have played that pre-combat, actually. Tap with everything. Um, again, I think we just want to bring back... Get as many cards as we can. I thought this is attacking as well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll put that onto the battlefield. Like, it it loses the mana, but it means we can shoot the opponent for four, which is obviously a bit crazy. Okay. And it goes to three. Assuming we have a land to go and get, this will hit the opponent for four damage because of Risen Reef. <laughs> yeah, Omnath is a uh, fair and balanced magic card. Okay, so good to get the win over Merc Tide there. Um, we're three and one. See you for the fifth and final round. Right, to be on the play here for round number five. Let's see what we get. Right, uh, yeah, this hand's fine. Ooh, what, what are we against? Gigantha. I think we can keep this. So we can go... Um, we could go and get red-white in order to be able to hold up binding. Because we get red-white and then we can go and get soul tie and then we can binding on two which I think is probably good yeah uh, oh no it's oh it's absan so we need to get red blue but we don't I can't get red blue God, I really need to learn this <laughs> Really need to learn this mana base. I probably might want to change it up a little bit. Okay, so Sacred Foundry. I guess Stomping Ground Hallowed Fountain also does the same thing. Uh, 
so something around hallowed. Yeah, so we'll just get something around here. Risen, uh, yeah, we'll put Risen Reef on top. Oh, we could put, I suppose we could put um, Voice or something, but I think we'll just get Risen Reef. Turn 2 Binding, turn 3 Reef, turn 4 Omnath, hopefully. Uh, this is Power Plant. Sphere. Okay, do we binding the sphere? I think so. I think we do because it's they're probably on. You know, we want to use our mana. Um, want to use our mana and also. You know, if they're on Sylvan Scrying, now they can't make green or Ancient Stirrings. Next time we go Risen Reef, hope to find a land off it so we can go Omnath. Okay, those are mine, scary. And that's Norns, an interesting one. Attack for one. Prison Reef. We do hit a land, so that's nice. Elemental. Next time we go Omnath into Elish Norn and just hope that gets there. <laughs> Are they gonna have natural tron? They do have natural tron, of course. Yep, into Khan liberated. Marvellous. Okay, so we need a lot of stuff to happen here for us to win this game. Yeah, sometimes there's just nothing you can do. <laughs> I mean, we interacted and I still found Tron on turn three. Not much we could have done there. In terms of what they do with this Khan, we, we kind of want them to tick. It's difficult. I mean, the idea is they tick down on Flamekin, but they're not going to do that. If they tick down on a land, we go land Omnath. Don't know what we've got in the sideboard. We've got things that destroy artifacts. We'll bring in the subtlety, the forces. Oh, we've got two Fulminator Mages. Okay, they do get rid of a land. Okay, so here we'll attack Khan. And we'll go planes. So we can go white, blue, red, green, yeah. Uh, red. Oh, no. White, blue, red, green, Omnath. Like it's, the opponent can't actually carn it, so. The nice ending, not the best. Fury, not bad though. I mean, we're probably just gonna get Udamogged. <laughs> Okay, Exiles, we're just going to get rid of the, well, hmm. Do we just get rid of Elish Norn? Is it just ending? No, I think it's, I think it's just ending. Then this turn, hopefully we can do, do some damage. Maybe we should have kept that. So, yeah, something like, well, maybe we should have kept that for Oblivion Stone, which is one very good answer to what we're doing here. 
If they go Oblivion Stone land. Well, if they go Oblivion Stone land, we'd lose anyway. Okay, they go Khan, which is weirdly okay. So we can go. Hmm. We can go land. What are they going to go and get? We can kill both planeswalkers here. Depends what they get. Got three mana, so they could go and get something like Ensnaring Bridge. They get Sundering Titan, which is worrying. Relic, okay, Relic's fine. So, oh, but Elish Norn shuts off Sundering Titan. So we, hopefully the opponent just passes here and then we get to go absolutely nuts next turn because we go land, Elish Norn, Fury. Do we have enough mana for that? I think so. So go land, we got nine. No, we don't quite, but we can evoke Fury if we need to. Actually, we're going to have to evoke Fury, right? So, go do this. Yeah. Uh, cast Elish Norn. Evoke Fury. Actually, yeah, we had to draw the Omnath there. So, put the evoke triggers on the stack. Uh, four here, three here, one here. Okay, Flanken's pretty good. Um, I mean, we might as well put that onto the battlefield, shoot the opponent for four. Okay, so with Risen Reef out, we can actually draw whatever, <laughs> whatever um, elemental we want here. So let's just go white. So, oh, hold on. We need to go, so go Risen Reef. Yeah, we need to resolve the Flamekin. For, oh, we could have searched for two things here. Okay, <laughs> I haven't actually done this before in Modo, so. All right, so we'll search for something, but what? Um, not Voice of Resurgence. Could be just another reef. I think so. Yeah, let's go and get another reef. Okay, binding's really good as well. I guess we might as well draw another one. Actually, we'll go and get Solitude. Because we might want to get rid of Sundering Titan. Although we do have Leyline Binding. Maybe we should have just got another Omnath, probably not. Okay. So we've got a binding for something like, okay, Ancient Stirring. So they're not Sundering Titan this turn. This is mine. Okay, so they've got two, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Ugin is really bad. Hopefully they don't have Ugin. Okay, well, we get there against Tron game one. <laughs> um, so subtlety, definitely, definitely both full mate and mages, all of the anti-artifact stuff. 
Fury was weirdly good there. Um, I think Solitude can probably go Endurance as well. Um, Voice of Resurgence isn't needed. I don't think the Floradrian is going to be that good. Unless Norn was weirdly good there. Got one more cut. Uh, is it Elish Norn? It's what does it stop? The only thing it stops is Sundering Titan. I mean, doubling up our triggers was pretty good as well, but maybe. Well, maybe it's worth. Keep. Is Thunderkin awake now? Are they ever going to be killing our Risen Reef? No, let's get rid of Thunderkin. Let's go with that. So really looking, yeah, for ways to interact with them. And uh, yeah, like Fulminator Mage is one of our better finds. Fulminator Mage is a weird one because we'd like to be able to bring it back with Thunderkin Awakener, but we used to be able, <laughs> used to, be able to do that with um, Kahira. You give Thunderkin Awakener an extra power. Uh, this hand is okay. It's very disruptive, but it hasn't got much clock. Um, but I think that's probably fine. You know, we're, we're going to have to draw. Maybe we should have mulliganed this, but. Okay, star. Um, I think we're ending the star. So we'll go uh, strand. We'll go and get hallowed fountain here and then stomping ground. think it's worth doing you know especially since we've drawn the other binding yeah just trying to keep them off of if they just pass here yeah I was gonna say we might consider binding because that means they're probably still been scrying Okay, well it looks like it might be Tron on turn three again, depending on what they hit with the stirrings. They're looking for us as mine. They find map. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to interact with that unless they don't have a third land. Um, I think we have to play that, which is unfortunate. You know, in a pinch we can force a vigor If they have a land, we can't interact with the map anyway. They do have a land, so they're going to go map. Yeah. Hopefully, they play another. If they play out another map or something, we can go force. But doubtful. They're just going to go and get Tron for next turn. Think about something. Oh, that's really good for us. Okay. How much? I, yeah, I, I think now we can just go. I'm not sure the opponent's reasoning for doing that. Um. Ephemerate is an interesting one. Are we just gonna we could just binding the map. Trouble with Foundation Breaker is that we then can't hold up force, but how bad is that? Foundation Foundation Breaker also gets ephemerated. This is binding. Uh, can we get this? Can't get mountain planes. So I think what we want to do, we need to get a mountain anyway. And in order to hold up, uh, you only need mountain to yeah, just grab stomping ground. So binding now costs one. 
I was only using one mana, but I think that's okay. Pass the turn. Yeah, very surprised if the opponent did that. Although, well, it, it could well be that they have the um, mine in hand. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Ugin? Sundering Titan. Okay, so we probably just lose to that one. Uh, so we kind of have to binding. Yeah. So yeah, they just they just Armageddon us here. They do have to destroy their own forest as well, I think. It's not a May ability. So now we need to go white land into red card to like evoke fury. Or the other way around, obviously. Oh, there's a white land. Maybe we should have kept that land last turn uncracked. <laughs> but yeah. Probably just going and getting Railgun Trium here. If at any point the opponent finds Besaju, we're in trouble. Add a green source, I guess. Okay, there is a Besaju. But the opponent is playing it out as a green source. Oblivion Stone. Ooh, okay, that is also bad. <laughs> okay, so I think we have to go force here. At least we get to keep a land. Like this is probably garbage time. Okay, Sundering Titan destroys nothing. Okay. So yeah, we need kind of solitude, I guess. Prismatic ending doesn't do anything. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we can happily, not happily concede, but uh, concede that one. Don't think we want to change anything. Okay, realize we actually uh, sided out the solitudes. So <laughs> never going to be able to get that off the field, but. Uh, yeah, we have to mulligan this one, sadly. Oh, one lander. I think we have to mulligan again. Oh, come on. I mean, this is as good as we're going to get. Uh, so we'll go one. Do we just keep the Fulminator Mage on three? Or do we just... No, I think we've, we've mulled so low. I think we need to keep a land. Um, yeah, that's obviously rough. I think we had a load of non, a load of no land hands. Parents kept seven as well. Okay, so we're just going to get Ralgrin. Land. Okay, we do find another land. It's pretty good. So it really depends on what the opponent does now. Um, if they go, if they go and get, tr if they get Tron, K 
can we afford to play the Risen Reef? I think we have to. I think we have to play Risen Reef here. If they then Tron and, you know, Khan, whatever, I I don't think there's... I, I think we just have to go with it. Okay, so they find the power plant. Oh, you... Really? I was just yielded through. Now they're just going to name Windswept Teeth. Oh, Modo. Oh, that's grim. Well, that's something. And they even played the other Tron land as well. Over the years, play something like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, well, yeah, that um, that's a thing that happened. So let's, I don't know, we probably couldn't have done anything anyway, but um, this felt really good. We lost to Mill and Tron. I think Mill was close, maybe a few tighter plays, and then we just got Troned out, like <laughs> um, turn four, what was it turn f I think they kept seven every game as well turn four Tron turn three turn four Tron through disruption and then we multi four as well so um yeah can't be helped but the, the list felt really really strong Thunder Can Awaken was actually really good I think if you expect a lot of you know Merc Tide or the fairer matchups then this list is a is a really good one a, a really good really good choice got got game against kind of everything as to whether whether it's better than the um the other version so you know, you, you get these kind of cards instead of Ren and Six to Fairy. I think I'm leaning towards the other version at the moment. Flame Kim has 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 impressed um over something like uh, Ella Damry's call, but Call can't can't get Elish Norn. Um, sorry, Harbinger can't get Elish Norn, although it does block Ragavan, so yeah, uh, there's pluses and minuses for both. I think Ephemerate is really, really good. Um probably on a Maybe maybe some sort of amalgamation of the two lists is, is what we want to be doing. But thanks everyone for watching. Please do consider subscribing uh, if you haven't already. And I will see you again soon. Cheers.